Alright you guys, Bennett here with Bad Gamers Inc. and I just watched the Battlefield 7 minutes, 17 minutes excuse me, gameplay on YouTube and also on the Battlelog site and uh, needless to say, I am trying to hold back my excitement to make this commentary right now. It was epic. What I will first say is in the intro you kind of get a funky choice of musical music. You'll kind of see why that happens later in the video. There's a lot of stuff that won't make sense at first that will at the end. Um, first things you're going to notice right off the bat, epic, epic character models, epic, epic graphics, all of the textures are super HD, the movement is so much more fluid, and what the hell did we get ourselves into? What is going on? That's the first couple of things you're going to see right off the bat. You're sitting in some sort of car underneath, you know, you're probably under the ocean or some body of water, you have no clue where you are. Now, into the gameplay notes that I was noticing, the destruction just looks absolutely amazing. There are scenes where there's Russians in kind of a go-kart, and they're shooting at you with that 50 cal, and you're kind of behind a piece of concrete cover, and wherever they're shooting, it's kind of chipping away gradually. It's nothing like the destruction in Battlefield 3. It seems like it's much more subdivided, so that where you shoot is actually what's going to be getting destroyed. So that actually looks really, really good. Also, you might notice, kind of in the first scene where they're shooting those guys across the street to get their uh, buddy there into the building, into the safe house, uh, the main character, uh, Rucker, I think is his name, has a kind of this weird mod on his M16 where he can zoom in a little bit off to the edge. Uh, so he is able to attach both a scope and iron sight. So that's interesting to see if that'll make it into multiplayer. Uh, also, we get to see the M320, and I'm not sure what the actual gun is called what that platform is but it's the one that I know is oftentimes used by law enforcement and it's the semi-auto kind of six barreled shotgun type platform and that actually looks really epic but I'm at the same time hoping it does not get rolled over into multiplayer because that's just asking to be OP. Um, next we see a female radio voice on the helicopter now this is something you're gonna see later in the video in the last uh, 30 seconds to one minute, which if you're going to have to only watch one minute of the video, watch the last 30 seconds to one minute, because that's where shit goes down. It's pretty epic. Um, so next thing, just things I'm noticing off the top of my head, is I see that M145 scope that your main character is using. It actually has a red reticle now in the center, which might actually make it very usable, because I know it doesn't have that in Battlefield 3, and that was my biggest drawback towards it. It obviously takes up a lot of screen room, a lot of real estate, but that's not that bad. I can't get past the fact that it's just kind of funky without that red radical. If you're on a dark map, you're not going to be able to aim with it. So that's why I've never really used it, especially against the PKA, which I found to be a much better scope. But if it has a radical, it might actually be usable now. So, go figure. Um, first off, early in the video, we're confirming some Russian and American interactions in the video. This is not a surprise to anyone. It was in Battlefield 3. I don't think anyone expected it to be absent from Battlefield 4, so no shocker there. But nonetheless, some more information that is now confirmed. Uh, we also get to look at a new spot feature where he kind of clicks something off to his left in his hand, and it, you know, kind of has the people, their heat signatures pop up on the screen. You can see all of the red triangles above their heads. I don't know if that's going to make it into multiplayer. Interesting spot feature if it actually has an animation now. Um, next on my list here. You might notice the title is Fishing in Baku. I have been able to confirm that is in Azerbaijan, not Chinese, but we do find out more about China later in the game. I will not tell you that until later in the narration. Uh, they mentioned that it's in Azerbaijan. I looked it up. It is in Azerbaijan. It's right there on the east coast of that. It's squarely in the Middle East, so good setting as always. Um... You might notice there's some sort of progress or achievement bar on the top of the screen. That looks pretty cool. Um, we'll see how that rolls over into the console versions. Obviously, I'll be playing console. Um, so we'll see what that does. Um, the buildings and structures in this gameplay look much more diverse than they did in Battlefield 3, so that's good. That's something I think we could all look forward to, and something that's definitely positive. Um, the sound is equally immersive, as always. I mean, you're buying a Battlefield 3 for the sound experience that is unique to all of these first-person shooter games, and it definitely delivers on that. Uh, so overall, single-player, we get a more diverse gameplay. We're in a civilian vehicle at one point, we're in a Jeep. We get to interact with an attack helicopter. It's 
very, very diverse, and I'm hoping that carries over throughout the single-player campaign, and that actually gives it a chance to be a very, very good campaign. Something rebounding from Battlefield 3's campaign, which I actually enjoyed greatly. I thought it was a good campaign, but I know it received some pretty bad reviews by the video gaming community. Um, next, on to the tint. I know you guys are so happy that the blue tint is gone. If you go and watch the video, you'll be able to see this. Alas, there is a new tint. It seems that they have gone out with blue and in with green. I'm noticing kind of a light green luminescence to everything. Uh, you can confirm that for me just by going out and watching the video. I'll include a couple links in the description, one to the Battlefield website and one to just their YouTube video, whichever you would prefer. Those of you who are mobile users, you'll be wanting the Battlefield, uh, or rather the YouTube link. Um, those of you otherwise can go to the Battlefield website. Um, my next note, Jesus Christ, a lot of shit's going down in 17 minutes. This is a lot, a lot of stuff. It's a very dense, very action-packed gameplay, which is what you want to see from a campaign. You gotta get people excited about it. Um, <laughs> and then, later on in the video, Jesus Christ, his leg looks like sausage, and then he says to his friend, You'll be alright, buddy, don't worry about it. And then they proceed to cut the guy's leg off after he's been crushed under a building pretty interesting <laughs> right there. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, nextly, Range Rover product, product placement much? I mean, they the police force drives up in a Range Rover, they drive the Range Rover, they take out a helicopter from a Range Rover. Uh, I don't know. You, I'm going to call it a conspiracy. You call it what you will. I got a couple walls out of that. Uh, Need for Speed has nothing on this game. We got our civilian vehicles in. Now, I'm good as far as that goes. Okay, now addressing the very end of the video, we do get it confirmed from China. The uh, U.S. commander, Admiral, I'm not sure exactly what his rank is, he confirms we're setting sail for the east coast of China. Um, so, full-scale war, U.S. and China. Uh, not sounding excited about that, because that's obviously something that would be bad in real life, but obviously very exciting for this game. Uh, so now we've got major, major factions in Battlefield 4 confirmed. Uh, he mentions, um, this same leader guy mentions something called Tombstone, and that might just be your, uh, platoon, but it might also be some kind of thing that, you know, is a recurring theme throughout the campaign. We don't really know at this point. Also, it sounds like there might be some sort of U.S. conspiracy going down. I don't really know. Battlefield always has a way of putting these twists into the campaign. So lastly, guys, I invite you to go and check out that video. Make sure you watch the whole thing, but if you can't, Tune in for the last one minute. Shit goes down. Uh, we see female soldiers at the very, very end. We know that's going to be at least in the campaign, so that's pretty groundbreaking. We heard rumors about it. Now it's been confirmed. Uh, so enjoy the video, you guys. Make sure you go out and look for that one. If you aren't able to, make sure you just digest, understand everything I've said in this video, because I feel like I've gotten a pretty good s summarization of what is going down. It looks epic. That's all I can say. Graphics, destruction, everything they promised, they delivered. This is an excellent, excellent video to be premiering gameplay for. Thank you guys. This is Bennett here with Bad Gamers Inc. Signing out. Bad Gamers Inc. Out.